Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi, and today I'm going to discuss water coils. So I've discussed water coils a little bit in the past, but I want to take a step back and just touch on some water coil basics. A water coil is a basic heat exchanger, meaning that it transfers or exchanges heat between two fluids. In the case of our water coil, this is air and water. A water coil is made up of copper tubes passing through aluminum or copper fins. The tubes can be different diameters, usually 3 8 1 half, or 5 8 inch for most of our types of products, and they have different wall thicknesses like 0.014 inches, 0.016, or 0.02 inches. The fins can be different styles. They can be flat, corrugated, a sine wave, and some other shapes. And they can have different thicknesses as well, so they could be 0.0045 inches, 0.0050 inches, and so on. And then you can also have different number of fins per inch, so you could have like 10 or 12 fins per inch. The variation in the thickness, diameter, and fins per inch affect the performance and cost of the coil. And then all of this is housed in a sheet metal frame that holds it all together and allows you to mount it on a terminal unit or fan coil or in your air handler. So let me draw the fins. I am not so great at drawing sine waves apparently on the side, but so let's say these are fins in a water coil. The copper tubes are bent into hairpins and inserted through the fins. and then each hairpin is connected on the opposite side with a return vent that's welded on so that you get continuous flow of water through the, through the tubes. And then on the ends you have your headers, also known as manifolds. This is where your supply and return water piping is connected to the water coil. So the performance of the water coil is limited to the size of the coil. You can only fit so many tubes high and wide in, a, in any given space. So let's draw a water coil from the side. So now you're looking at the end of the water coil. And let's say that our tube pattern looks something like this. Okay, now if you look down these rows, you can see there's a row here that's row one, row two, row three, and row four. So there are four rows of tubes in our water coil. And then if you count how many tubes they are high, you can see each row has six tubes, so it's six tubes high. So this is a four row water coil that's six tubes high. Now the tubes form continuous flow through the water coil, so we'll have to put in the return bends and the hairpins. So let's say that the blue is stuff on the back side that you can't see, and then the orange is the stuff that we're looking at here. So you could see the air, uh, so you can see that the water fl would flow in here, go through the tube, around the little blue section that's on the back side, back towards us in the tube, through the orange section, and so on. So it's going back and forth, flowing through this tube, and in this case, the water will exit right here. So let's draw that for the rest of the tubes. We'll have the same pattern. and then down here on the last set. So what you can see here is that we have three places where the in water will enter the tubes in the water coil and three places where the water will exit. So these are the places that would connect to the headers and this makes it a three circuit water coil because we have three connections to our headers. So the way I drew this water coil, the water will flow from left to right. If you remember back to the counter flow and parallel flow podcast, if the airflow is moving in the same direction left to right, this is a parallel flow water coil. And if the air is moving in the opposite direction from right to left in the drawing, then this is a counter flow water coil. So as hot or cold water goes through the tubes in the water coil, Heat is transferred to the fins of the water coil and then it's transferred to the air in the case of a hot water coil. Or for a cooling coil, the heat from the warm air would be transferred to the fins and then transferred to the water. So that's a quick overview of water coils. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel 
And thanks for taking a time out with us.